So I played two big pots during this first two levels in the 3K today. And um, the first time, the button opens to a thousand, and I'm in the small line, and the big line is sitting out. So it just always creates some weird dynamic where, you know, the button should technically be opening much wider, arguably like 100% because of this positional advantage and the fact that the big blind is dead, which forces the small blind in general to defend much wider. So I call with 8-7 off. I could 3-bet this hand, but, uh, you know, it's not super strong and uh, it's definitely strong enough to continue it. And the flop is jack 9-4. Two hearts, I don't have a heart, so I flop a gutter. I check, he bets a thousand into three. I call. Again, I could check raise here, but I think my hand is a little bit too weak, especially without a heart and just a gutter and eight high. So I call and the turn is the ten of diamonds, picks up a double flush draw. So obviously a dream card for me, uh, minus the double flush draws. Uh, but you know, pretty confident at this point I have the, the, the absolute best hand, so I check. Could lead here uh, for sure, like once the board texture changes this much, uh, you could definitely play some leads, but I was, you know, with ranges being this wide and my range not being defined by any means and my opponent's range being so wide opening in this scenario, uh, I figured that I'd rather give him some room and let him try double barrel with some complete air that he wouldn't be able to continue with if I were to lead. But unfortunately he checks back and the river is uh, ace of club. Really good card, you know, King-Queen um, I was already beat by, so I'm not too worried about that. But it's a card where he'll obviously make top pair a fair bit that he, if he were to uh, continuation bet ace high on the board. But it's also a card that he might bluff at. Fairly high frequency, I shouldn't have that many aces in my range, all things considered. So I check, he bets 3,000 into a four. And I check raise to 13 and a half, and he calls uh, rather quickly. And I saw he had a, a red ace, so I think he had the ace high flush draw. Uh, so a pretty unlucky spot for him, but uh, it was a nice pot. But then the very next hand, another player opens. He goes all in for 12,000. I call with ace king and lose a flip to his sixes. So unfortunately, I, <laughs> I lost it all back the very next time. And then it just continued. But, yeah, my stack just got shorter and shorter. I was really carded and just breaking a lot of flops. And uh, in these fast structure events, you really got to catch some cards to try to get, gain some momentum. It's uh, been a bit frustrating series so far, to be honest. I've struggled to get a big stack and, and really get some momentum in any of these other than that 1500 where we've made a deep run. So I played 25 uh, including re-entries. So I think I'm in for 75,000 and I've cashed for 10, so I'm down 65,000 heading into week four, five. Uh, main event starting this weekend should be really exciting, of course. So I'm just gonna reload for the main event basically because that's the big one.